Hello and welcome to this 101 lab. In this lab we will learn how to perform ARP poisoning. ARP, meaning Address Resolution Protocol, is a protocol responsible for making a connection between a device's MAC and IP addresses. We will again be using EtherCap and this time we want Cat Linux and Windows 7 in a virtual machine. By poisoning ARP tables we are able to trick devices on a network thinking we are something we are not. For example, the network's default gateway. We need a specific target for this lab, which will be our Windows 7 virtual machine. And we need to enable IP forwarding on our Kali box with the following command. This is echo1 and then we send this into proxysnet ipv4 ip underscore forward. Press enter. If that doesn't work, you can use this alternative command. syscontrol-w net ipv4 ip forward equals 1. Now we want access to Windows and we want its CMD or its command line interface. And there we want to type ipconfig and then arp a. ipconfig arp a to get some information about the network layout. Now on Kali's terminal we type ifconfig route and then ethercap g. So ifconfig route and in another tab I'm going to open ethercap-g. Within ethercap select your interface of choice, ETH0 in my case, then click on the check button in the upper right corner of ethercap's window. So check button as in the previous lab is right here. The next thing you want to do in ethercap is either click on the three vertical dots in the upper right corner and select hosts and scan for hosts or click the magnifying glass button in the upper left corner which does the same. So here and then hosts and scan for hosts or just click this one. I prefer this one because it is more direct. Let's full screen that. When the scan completes go back to the three dots or the icon that looks like a server stack or I guess some people call it hamburger in the upper left corner next to the magnifying glass and check out hosts list. So either here hosts and then hosts list or we click here and we see all the hosts. Now in the hosts list select our target Windows virtual machines IP and Mac then add that to target one. So we go back here and we check that the IP address is 154 for Windows machine and that is here we add that to target 1. Okay following that select our routers IP and Mac then add that to target 2. So if we go back to Kali and we check out the route it says gateway this is the one we want 77.2. So 77.2 add to target 2. Finally click on the globe icon in the upper right portion of Ethercap's window and select our poisoning. Click OK and the attack will start. For good measure, I'm also going to start Wireshark, so right here, just to see the packets that go through the network. All right, here and ARP poisoning. Click OK, and it's going to start on its own. Now, as this attack is going inside Wireshark, we just want to type ARP, press enter, and it only takes a couple of seconds. I didn't pause this video or anything like that, and you already see that there's 21 packet so the Wireshark list of packets is continually updating, meaning new ARP packets are being sent all the time. If you check the MAC address of the latest ARP packets, you will see that our Kali is interfering with the router. Now pretty much every single technique explained so far, if not executed properly, will result in a denial of service attack. That's yet another reason why we want to try out all our attacks within our own lab before using them in the real world. And that brings us to the end of this lab.